This pandemic has exposed and exhibited many problems, and especially the problems which the children have been facing. Mm. So the number of out of school children has grown. The number of uh, 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 dropout has grown, but that is also linked with a very important factor that when a large number of people have lost their livelihood, now their children are in demand as the cheapest source of labor. Right. Due to pandemic, but also before the pandemic due to several other crises. It is for the first time in 20 years that the number of child laborers has grown in the world before 26, uh, before 20, 2020. So in the four years of SDGs, the number has grown from 152 million to 160 million. So 160 million child laborers means 160 million empty seats in the classrooms. This also means that 160 million jobs which should be or could be given to the adult people have been taken over by the children or pushed into uh, upon them because they are the cheapest source of labor, they are free labor in many cases once they are held in bondage and that number is growing. Only in Africa I would tell you that 10,000 children are pushed into child labor every day, every day since SDGs even before the pandemic. So actually, in terms of the targets, we're going backwards. I mean, that's the heartbreaking the first time truth going about back. this. It's especially in case of children. I mean, this has so many other implications, as you said, uh, the impact on, on families, child nutrition, child marriage, gender equality. It's going to push us backwards on, on that front as well. Um, it's a waste of, of a human potential in so many ways. Um, I know you've done a lot of work in, in India as well about the choices that families are making between putting parts, some part of their family, some of their children to work versus feeding the others. And these are the life heartbreaking, heart rendering decisions that are being made, as you said, on a, on a daily basis. Absolutely. In spite of a lot of good programs in India, social protection programs like uh, school feeding programs and mm. other things in different states, cent centrally uh, sponsored program as well as the state programs, we see the growth in child trafficking. We have been freeing children physically from slavery and trafficking for last more than 40 years. Mm -hmm. But it has never happened during one year or one and a half year that my organization and we freed uh, or rescued uh, almost 2,000 children during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So even during the pandemic, just after the first and second lockdowns in India, the demand for young children for child marriages, for domestic help, young children for prostitution and child labor, that has grown mm. and we have to address it.